give you A. So make sure that your handout matches the folder. <laughs> I am starting the timer. The first thing you're doing is independent, so you should be reading the excerpt and choosing an example of sensory language or sensory imagery to write in the first box. 11 minutes. I have the timer going. So then share your answers. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is an excerpt from the story we just read. We're going to look for imagery. So what paints a picture that you can see or what makes you smell something or taste something or hear something. Okay. So read this and pick a few words or a quote that show the type of imagery and write that here. Say like sight and then write the quote here. Then what does that tell us about Miss Emily and what, what's the meaning? Why did the author include it and what's the meaning of that imagery? Okay? And any from this excerpt. Okay? So you have the one where it's describing Emily. So you might focus more on, on sight here. Okay? But you might choose this quote and they might choose that quote. So you're going to do one. And then I'll probably tell you in about five minutes, and then you're going to share your ideas and what your other group members wrote down. So you're going to choose one of them. Okay? Yes. Okay. Yep. Right. Smell, and then write that quote right here. So why did they choose this? Why did they choose to describe the smell? What did it tell them? Then what did they write down? They might have written down a different quote, and you're going to that second but you might have a different with like rotted yeah like but you might have a this first quote, and they might have another one. 